What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Coding with Kevin. Today, we are gonna be going through a real quick beginner's coding challenge, trying to keep this bad boy under 10 minutes for you. So I hope you're excited. Let's get into things. All right, as always, I wanna thank you guys for subscribing. I've officially hit 1,000 subscribers, so I really appreciate you all. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below, give this video a like if you think it deserves one, and let's go. All right, so today the coding challenge is to make an unordered list of people sorted in order from youngest to oldest. Here are the things you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have a good grasp of. The sort method, the map method, the key property in React, also math.floor and math.random, we're going to use those to help make each key a unique identifiable key. You're also gonna to wanna to be able to navigate an array of objects. Now, quick note when you're doing a coding challenge, sometimes they will ask you to do it in a sandbox, which are things like codepen.io. Um, sometimes, they will ask you to do it in an IDE and then just share your screen when you're doing it via Zoom or WebEx or whatever. I recommend VS Code as your IDE. It's my favorite, so we're gonna use that today. Now, I already have npm run start running in the console. It opens it up in Google Chrome for me at localhost 3000. And what we're gonna do is we see we have an array of people. First things first, we wanna get them sorted. So let's create a variable called sorted and we are going to sort them and assign them to a variable rather than mutating the array directly. We never wanna mutate the array directly. We always want that to be in its original state. So we're gonna do <clears throat> array people.sort, do an a comma b, and then it's an arrow function. Oops, went a little bit too far there. Um, and then we're going to do a, dot age minus b dot age and that will sort lowest to highest uh, we can see that here we're going to do a console log sorted bada boom so now if we do that we go over here we right click go down to inspect go to the console we can see now that the array is sorted from youngest to oldest Awesome. Now that we have that, we're going to create a new variable. I'm going to call it list. And the names of your variables are not important. What's important is how do you go about achieving the ask of the coding challenge. So we're going to do sorted, oops, sorted dot map. We're going to call each item person, and then we're going to return. a list item. Inside each list item, we're gonna have two paragraph tags. First one is going to be name, and it's going to be person.name. Uh, the next one is going to be age, and it's going to be person.age. <clears throat> so essentially what's going on here is we have an array. We're taking the map function and every time it loops through, we are grabbing an index of the array. So the first person will be Ben, second person will be Kyle. That's why we can simply just write one li and say person.name, it will print out Ben, Kyle, and the age associated with each one. Then what we want to do down here is we want to create an unordered list. We're going to do curly brackets, stab the list in there. And now with each list item, we're going to have a key associated with it. Inside that, we're going to do backticks, dollar sign, curly bracket. It's going to be person.name, dash, dollar sign, curly bracket, math.floor, and then we're going to do math.random. And so what this will do is it'll assign a random number uh, with every person so that way we can make sure it's a unique identifier. Once this is done, you just hit save. We should be able to see it in the browser here. Kyle, Ben, Danny, George. 
we have officially passed the coding challenge. Awesome, those are the pretty much key concepts you need to start working your way as a beginner in the coding industry. Now, if you thought that was easy, check out some of my mid-level developer challenges listed above here. And as always, thank you guys so much. Subscribe, like, and until next time, take care.